Hi everybody! I know it's been a really long time since I've done a video and I apologize. Um, life has kind of gotten in the way between my two different gaming groups and um, work and my kids. Um, everything else has just kind of been pushed to the back seat. But um, I came down here to my craft room. I was gonna paint some stuff and then um, I kind of decided that I really wanted to do a quick video for everybody out there um, to talk about Dwarven Forge and some of the different paints that I've been using on Dwarven Forge. So the last video I did, I had bought a small amount of the Dungeon of Doom and uh, that was kind of a mistake because I fell in love with the stuff. Um, I haven't actually gotten to play with it a whole lot. I did an exhibit at my local um, sci-fi comic book convention and I brought that with me and um, I ran a small encounter for people in a class to kind of show them some of the basics of Dungeons and Dragons and that definitely brought the wow factor. It definitely kicked it up a whole nother notch and everybody was really impressed and I was really happy to have that. Um, it definitely made me feel more professional about putting on an exhibit for everybody. Um, so that being said, I went ahead and I went a little crazy and I bought the Hamlet set and I also bought the Babakin Gate, I think is how you say it. Um, once I realized the pieces in the gate also fit with a lot of the city builder pieces, it made sense to me to go ahead and just get both because for one I really wanted to be able to build the front of a castle for any encounters because we've got one coming up in the um, Horde of the Dragon Queen that I'm running for one of my groups that uh, is going to be a pretty epic battle I'm hoping and so I wanted to have that to pull out for my players for them to see. But a lot of those pieces also interchange with the Hamlet. So the stone cottages pieces actually match up with not just the Barbican Gate really well and they actually sit together and so you have you can make more houses and bigger houses but it actually matches really well with the Dungeon of Doom. I don't know if you guys can see that and it's kind of dark in here. They match up pretty well. Anyway, so um, I was really happy that there was that compatibility. I started painting some of the other pieces that went to the Hamlet set. And um, I normally paint with Reaper paints um, and Vallejo. Uh, I started out my collection with Army Painter um, and they have their place, but I really, really like Vallejo and um, Reaper paints. I have some Citadel. I absolutely hate the pots. Um, I've already lost a bunch of paint. To me, I, I hate them. I love their washes and a lot of their products are really good, but I hate the packaging. Um, but I figured since I have so much Dwarven Forge to paint now, I have two huge boxes to paint, that I needed to get a more affordable option. And I was in Walmart and I saw these for 50 cents a piece. Now, I've never used these before. I'm already regretting painting my entire set of two doors with these. They seem to scratch very easily. So I mean, the roof looks great. I think I got the, the colors pretty well, but a lot of the tiles that require heavy dry brushing, just the heavy dry brushing was flaking the paint off of the pieces. So if just that kind of handling, painting on top of another layer is going to peel this paint off, there's no point in even putting it on my pieces because it's wasted time, wasted effort, no matter how cheap that paint is. Um, so I won't be making that mistake again. So don't do it either. I have several pieces that I have painted um, 
my dragon. Um, my demon. I have a ranger that came out really well and some other ones that I have. I painted these almost exclusively with um, Ra Reaper paints. I have handled these. I've thrown them in boxes. Not thrown. Set them in boxes. Carried them around. Shown them off to people. Played with them. And I have not had any kind of that flaking and wearing off. And I don't use any kind of varnishes or any kind of clear coats. Because I am just afraid that after spending this kind of time on something to have my colors and my my work obscured by some sort of clear coat I, it, it just freaks me out I can't even think about doing it so don't make the same mistake I did just don't even try the apple barrel paints I mean unless you're doing something that is not going to be touched or something that's just for fun that you don't really care or even something that you want to be able to scrape off real easily and paint again fine this would be your go-to choice super cheap you can get it in a pretty wide range of colors but if you're going to be doing it on something you're planning on handling a lot i definitely would stay away from it so just my two cents um gary gygax day is coming up so have fun Make sure you roll the dice and I'll see you guys next time.